All right, everyone, first time here on the vlog, got invited to the game by Eric, who's the host of the game. So if you're interested, definitely let me know. First hand, I look down at ace, queen, eight, five, single suited on the button. There's an early position limp. My buddy Logan, AKA Yeet Bigly on here. I'll link his channel down below. He makes it 20. There are two callers to me, I call and the limper call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Ball comes out 10, five, five with two clubs. Checks all the way to me. I bet 65 and everyone folds. So a good start here to take down the first hand. In this game, they allow you to straddle on the button and it's on right here. As I look down at ace, king, queen, five, double suited under the gun, I limp. There are three other limpers over to the button who makes it 30. I call and there are three other callers. So we're going five ways to a flop. Ball comes out king 10 two. It actually checks all the way to the river after bringing an eight on the turn and another two on the river. Action checks on the river to the button who bets 75. I don't think he really has much here and I have a pretty good bluff catcher at this point. So I call, player to my left thinks for a bit and also makes the call, which uh, probably is not a good sign here. And everyone else folds. Player to my left turns over a seven, five, two. So he hit trips on the river. And just as I suspected the button mucked and the player to my left is gonna take it down. Here look down at ace, ace, queen, seven, single suited in middle position. There's an early position limp. I make it 20 and there are five callers. So we're going six ways to a flop. Ball comes nine, seven, five with two clubs. Checks to me, I bet 100. Player to my left makes it 420, folds back to me. And here, you know, he definitely could be doing this with some different hands that I have some better equity against than just a straight. Um, from the early going, he seems like an aggressive player. So I just decided to go with it and he quickly makes the call and we're going heads up to a run out. The turn brings a two of hearts. The river gives me the flush, but it's a two of clubs. And my opponent says he has a full house and turns over jack eight, five, five. So he's gonna take it down here with the boat. So every dealer change here, they do a $20 double board bomb pot, which you know you guys have seen before. But the different thing about this one is they have a very interesting post flop structure in that once the flops come out, you can either only bet $200, which is the cap and the max for the hand, or check. So once the flops come out, someone bets $200, you either fold or call. And once people call or fold, then it just goes to the two turns and two rivers. So in this one, I looked down at King Jack 5-3, single suited in the hijack. The flops come out Ace-10-8 with two hearts and Jack-7-7 seven, seven with two clubs. Checks to an early position player who bets the $200. One caller to me. Obviously, I'm not folding a Royal Flush Draw, so I also call. And there are three callers behind, so we're going six ways to two runouts. So the turns come out a nine of spades on the top and a jack of spades on the bottom. Rivers bring a three of clubs on the top and a queen of spades on the bottom. And even before the dealer put that queen of spades out, player in seat two, his name's Lance. He's actually a friend of the host of the game, Eric. He turns over queen jack of diamonds. So somehow something you don't see every day in a six way double board bomb pot, Lance is gonna scoop the entire pot. Here look down at ace, queen, 10, nine, double suited on the button. Logan in early position makes it 15, folds to me, I make it 50, and the big blind and Logan call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes jack, nine, three, rainbow. Checks to me, I bet 120, and only the big blind call. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn rings of five of clubs, bring in the back door flush. My opponent checks to me, and I decide to check back. So still going heads up to a river. The river does bring in the backdoor flush with a seven of clubs. My opponent checks and I just decide to give up and check back. And he doesn't look too happy about it. I tell him a nine and turn over my hand and somehow we're good. So happy to take down a decent sized pot here. Here look down at ace, king, queen, four, double suit in the cutoff. There's a $10 under the gun straddle. Two players call. I make it 55 and there are four callers. So we're going five ways to a flop. Welcomes nine, eight, three rainbow. Early position player pots it. One call to me and I fold. Here look down at Jack Jack 87, single suit and a double board bomb pot. It actually checks all the way to the river. The top board is 983 Jack 2, and the top board brings in a one liner on the river. And early position player bets 200. Next player calls, and I knew that obviously one of my opponents is very likely to have a straight on the bottom board, but. I figured, uh, you know, I might be able to get a chop out of it where I would win a little bit. So I called and everyone else folded. Unfortunately, both my opponents had the nuts, the early position player at queen 10 for the nuts straight on the top and the other player had the ace jack for the nuts on the bottom. So they're gonna chop it up here. Here, look down at ace, queen, jack, nine, rainbow in a straddled pot. I limp, there are three other limpers. The straddler checked and we're going five ways to a flop. 
Qualcomm's 1085 Rainbow, small blind bets 25, folds to me, I make it 100, back to the small blind who then pushes, I call for my remaining chips and we're going heads up to a run out. Turn brings an ace of spades, bringing in the backdoor flush draw, River brings a three of clubs, so unfortunately I can't hit my straight. I turn over my hand, not expecting to be good, but my opponent turns over nine, eight, seven, four. So we flop middle pair with an open-ended and somehow we're gonna take it down here with top pair. Here we look down at queen, seven, five, three, single suited in middle position in a double board bomb pot. The flops come out ace, eight, seven with two spades and 10, five, five with two clubs. Checks to me, I bet 200 and only an early position player calls. So we're going heads up to a run out. Turns come out a queen on the top and a five on the bottom. The rivers bring another queen on the top and a six on the bottom. I turn over my hand and my opponent turns over pocket sevens. So pretty lucky to make a bigger boat on the top and we're gonna take down a nice pot here. You look down at ace ace 10 six rainbow on the button in his travel pot. There are a couple limpers to me. I also limp, small blind and big blind complete. Strather then makes it 60. Two callers to me, I call and both the blinds call. So we're going six ways to a flop. Ball comes out queen 5-3 with two spades. Checks over to the straddler who bets 150. One caller to me, I fold. Small blind then potted it. Then the straddler repopped it and the middle position player folded. Small blind and the straddler ended up going heads up. They agreed to run it twice. The turn on the top brought a four of diamonds. River brought a seven of hearts. Turn on the bottom brought a three of hearts and the river brought a six of clubs. Lance turns over queens with queen, queen, jack three and big Kev to my left ended up showing nine, eight, five, five. So Lance is gonna take down a pretty nice size pot here. Here look down at king, jack, nine, eight, double suited on the button. Middle position makes it 15. I three bet to 50. The big blind and the middle position player call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes ace seven five with two hearts. Lance goes ahead and donk leads for 150, folds over to me. And although I've seen him play a lot of hands and uh, seems like he's a pretty aggressive player, um, really the only thing I've seen him turn over is the nuts. I mean, he had the nuts on that double board bomb pot. He had top set of queens in that other hand. So I guess I just have to kind of believe him here and I fold. So let me know what you think about that, but he's gonna take it down. Here look down at ace, king, king, jack, double suited on the button and a straddled pot. Couple limpers over to the player to my right who makes it 55. I decided to just call here for a couple of reasons. One, Lance over in C2 has been pretty aggressive. So he's been making a lot of three bets. So if that's the case, I can obviously go for the back four bet. Uh, even if not, you know, this hand is pretty nutted. So I don't mind having a couple other players in there, you know, where obviously I'm gonna flop a dominant draw over them. So I just call and there are a couple other callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Well comes King Queen five rainbow checks all the way over to me. Uh, I was obviously hoping to get some more action here with flopping this strong, but I bet 200 and unfortunately everyone folds. So we take it down. Here look down at King nine, seven, four double suited in the cutoff in a straddle pot. There's one limper to me. I also limp a couple other limpers straddler checks and we're going five ways to a flop. Well comes King seven, three rainbow small blind bets 50 big blind and middle position player call over to me. I make it 275, folds over to the small blind who's counting out some chips. He re-raises to 700 total and both the players fold over to me. So this would be a situation back in my home game where I would use a particular player read to make a decision one way or the other. Obviously I don't have that luxury here. This is the first time I've ever played with Lance and I don't know if there's really many hands that he's going to do this with that I beat. Um, you know, the only one I can think of is maybe seven, six, five, four, or like, you know, the, the wrap with maybe a pair or something. But besides that, I mean, I do have the top set blockers, but, um, I, I don't really think I can call here. So I lay it down. Um, let me know what you guys think about this one. So here I look down at Jack 10, 10, three single suited. There was a couple limpers to me. I also limped. We went four ways to a flop of queen, 10, three rainbow. Eric in the small blind bit 15. Two callers to me and I also called, so four ways to a turn. The turn brings a six of clubs, bring in the backdoor flush draw. Checks over to me, I bet 60, and all three players call, so we're still going four ways to a river. The river brings a nine. Eric checks over to the early position player who bets 225. Folds to me, I also fold. So I go about an hour after the previous hand in there, just kind of got chipped down. I also lost $220 in a double board bomb pot, didn't really capture it. But here the button straddles on by my buddy Logan. I look down at Ace King 10 9 single suited under the gun. I make it 30. There are three callers over to Logan who makes it 185. 
I then go ahead and just push for 305 back to Logan who makes the call. So we're going heads up to a run out. Flop comes 843 with two diamonds. Turn brings a nine. River brings a queen. So improves Logan to a set of queens, which he didn't need. I believe that last hand kind of epitomizes my entire night. You know, had a lot going there. I'm actually a slight favorite on the flop. Going into the river, I have about half the deck to win, but it doesn't work out in the end. So at least if I'm going to lose the last amount, might as well give it to my friend Logan, who's going to take it down here. What's up, guys? Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 1400 out for zero. So biggest loss on the vlog to date, um, which is never good, but I have been running good the last couple sessions. So, you know, some run bad with some uh, play bad, um, you know, it kind of happens. So uh, if you have any feedback for me, definitely let me know. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I'll link it up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.